Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Richard today, and today we're going to be opening up and setting up one of these ring cameras. First thing you're going to want to do is they have a little notch on it. See that little blue thing right here? All you do is grab it with your nail and slide it. Try not to get a paper cut under your nail because that sucks. Next thing, take a look at this bad boy. Good quality camera when you pick it up. All right, next thing you need to do is distinguish when you look up. You'll see I have a round port I'm gonna be mounting in because this house is pre-wired for ring cameras. If you're using one of those style because you've pre-wired for Christmas lights, then you will want to use one of these plates here depending on what angle you want it to aim at to get the front door. See how this one leans to the front? So it, that one would be if you're going straight and then this one down here is for an angled roof so that way you can mount it against an angled pitched roof like this and keep it straight pretty cool eh? this is the one i'm going to need so i'm going to need this one and possibly this ring what this does is this waterproofs it if you wanted to you could just use this one it's got a gasket on it but if you want that extra protection you can double gasket up to you and here is your parts go in here you'll see that there is a screwdriver they give you a masonry bit so you put your screwdriver together this hook I don't see anyone using it but you will need one of these screws afterwards to lock it in so we'll keep this here and you'll see what I mean there's this screw after we're done goes into one of these holes you can also do both of them if you want I usually only use one either way let's go pop that plate off up top also if you want to don't let the lens touch the ground put it in here let this slide out you're going to take this off now what you do is you turn and it'll quick disconnect you can do it with your legs too depending there we go i've got it so it literally twists to unlock pops off keep this off for a second you'll see that there's a ring on the back and what we're gonna do is unscrew that ring might as well show you how this part works so this comes all the way off take it all the way off the wires next thing we would do is orient our plate so I know that for me I'm going to orient my plate so it's like this if I can so what I would do is slide my wires through here and then slide that camera piece in. Now, when you do this, I would suggest with that thing off that lock there, you go and you turn it back on. Sinks in, turns, only fits one way. It does it very smoothly. So then we would take this Popper wires through the center here and then we would see how our camera is going to sit see that wouldn't work proper because see how it's twisted like that so what I'd want to do is take it off twist this and we'll slide it down like this for a second and look at how it's sitting now so if I were to mount it like this now I just have to adjust it and then once you do this and we know our mounting you can do this, put these wires nice and tight together once again, take your threaded ring, bring it down like this, don't strip it, just get it in there because it is plastic. Once you tighten it down, perfect, you now know how it's going to position, right? Now I know that when I bolt this plate flat against the roof I just have to loosen that set screw and then I'll be able to adjust that knob and adjust the camera where I need it. Um, once you do this twist it again, quick disconnect we now have that ready to go, leave the camera down here and let's go up to our box, we're going to wire this in. If you don't, of 99% of you are not going to need this red wire. What I suggest doing before you even go up there cap it off. This red wire is for uh, additional spotlights so it would activate the spotlight if somebody walked. So 
So tuck your ground in if it's hanging down or was connected to the plug before. That's that bare copper wire. Again, make sure that red is moretted off. Tie your white together, tie your black together. Make sure that those morets are nice and tight. You should be able to do this and do a pull test. If they come off, it wasn't good enough. Now that those are there, wrap these up, tuck them in, and bolt this plate on and make sure it's aiming the right way. If it is gonna be off to an angle, make it like this. Don't put it into the corner, otherwise it'll be harder to put your stuff together. Next thing to do is line it back up, lock it in, boom. You'll see it turns on. Well, it's booting up. I'm not gonna be able to show you past the spotlight, but we'll wait for that to go. Next, you're gonna to wanna to put in that safety screw I was showing you where to put, which goes in the one corner, which is, let's see if we can go past the spotlight, right here. So put in that screw right here so that way it doesn't turn anymore and doesn't unlock. Once you've downloaded the app, you're going to notice, okay, after you've created a location, hit set up a device, okay, then you're going to say what you want to do, we're going to say security camera, and let's say QR code, we'll say set up without it, we're just going to do a wire, after you choose the location where you're installing it, your house that is, and you would select here, I'm gonna say the front yard. Continue, continue. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hit the home, go to your settings and add it to the ring network. You'll see it, once it pops up on ring, you'll see ring dash something in your settings under Wi-Fi. After you do that, then you would click it, go back to the app, you'll see this, and it'll get you to put in your Wi-Fi name and password.